Now, excitement is growing in the science of space flight and travel. All of a sudden, we're having conversations and debating if given the opportunity, would we ourselves go to Mars? Well, this soon may become a reality. Some are already traveling to where the future of civilian space travel is happening. Fox San Antonio's meteorologist Brad Souders is in South Texas and spoke to those that have made the trip to see history for themselves. Oh man, it's exciting. It's amazing. Incredibly inspiring. Just to see the size of it. It is the new space race. They're launching what is basically a mini skyscraper. The battle of the two billionaires, Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk. Currently ahead, Musk with SpaceX, in April winning the NASA contract to take us back to the moon. Building a new Texas city, Boca Chica soon to be renamed Starbase, Texas. This really is an incredible place. People coming from all over the country to get unprecedented access to space history happening right behind us. York, York in Pennsylvania is where I live. We don't see this kind of stuff in Indiana. The new Starship, great on launch, the landing still in, we'll call it, beta testing. Now there have been several launches from this facility. In fact, you can still see some of the older launches as pieces are strewn out in the field. So for example, everything you see around you here, here, here's a piece right here and here's another piece. These actually coat the Tesla batteries. But yeah, souvenirs for us uh, science and space nerds to collect while we're here. And uh, you know, you're witnessing history. On May 5th, a new milestone, the most recent test rocket lands without an explosion. A successful step for the next launch to space. Breakneck construction, more help wanted, dozens of new jobs posted for Starbase on SpaceX's website. This all developed overnight almost. Bam, there it was. So what's yeah. it been, three years from zero to this? Yep. Wow. A lot of vision and perseverance to think about it and make it happen. I would go to Mars if they asked me, but she said she wouldn't go with me. <laughs> I think it's a one-way trip. I think I, it's a one-way so trip. I think so too, yeah. Well, obviously, we are way too close here when the launch happens. They will evacuate all of the people, all of the workers, several miles away. In fact, they closed the road. You can't even get close to this place, but you can watch it many miles around. And of course, online, it'll be streaming Cameras are in bunkers not too far away that won't miss any of the action. In Boca Chica, I'm meteorologist Brad Souter. Back to you.